Special forces of the Army of Ukraine together with units of the GUR repel the enemy's gas production platforms in the Black Sea. Part of these strategically important objects, which play the role of our sea fortresses, have been captured and taken under control by titanic efforts. Its content allows you to control a significant part of the water and strengthen the defense. GUR also claims that during this raid they shot down a Russian Su-30SM. The operation in the Black Sea was carried out by the soldiers of the Special Unit Timur GUR of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine in cooperation with the Maritime Center Viking, Group 13, Groups Quasar, Rex and Aggregat with the support of the Division of the State Border Service Dozer, said in the message of the GUR. We remind you that on September 11th, the Ministry of Defense of the Russian Federation also reported the attack by the Ukrainian gas production platform Crimea, too. It was confirmed that the attack was repulsed. Out of 14 boats, 8 were sunk and 6 left. Theoretically, JSOW gliding bombs can be upgraded to cruise missiles which will allow strikes with a range of more than 500 kilometers, including Moscow. Oleg Katov, Ukrainian military expert, said this on the air on Radio NV. In particular, Katov reacted to the statement of the representative of the U.S. State Department, Matthew Miller, that Ukraine can strike at the territory of Russia with the weapons that it made on its own and that weapons production programs have been introduced in Ukraine over the past year. It must be understood that between the beginning of the program and the appearance of a large number of serial samples, time passes, and even in peacetime, when you are not bombed, when you have a national strategic program for the development, creation and mass production of certain weapons and military systems, this is so a bait for five to ten years, Katov said. According to him, such statements by the United States have nothing to do with the real needs of Ukraine. At the same time, he believes that the Western allies could transfer important weapons to Ukraine marked made in Ukraine so that there would be no questions to them. Why Moscow can do this, but Washington can't? Why Iran can do this, but conditional London cannot? Everyone can do that. We're not there. It's not us. They did it also. Katov added. At the same time, he drew attention to the transfer of gliding bombs to Ukraine and in particular JSOW. In my opinion, the only reason for the transfer of these rather valuable products is only one, the ability to convert them into cruise missiles. Because such a project existed, JSOW-ER. It existed from the late 2000s to 2023. It was closed a year ago. The US Navy's project, and it was closed due to the fact that they have a JSSM-ER cruise missile with a range of 900 kilometers. Therefore, the conversion of the JSOW glide bomb into a cruise missile with a range of 500 kilometers was not very interesting for them. There weren't those benefits. That is, the range of 500 kilometers for the United States in the issue of aviation weapons is not enough, Katov said. At the same time, he suggested that when converting glide bombs into cruise missiles, you can try to install the Ukrainian navigation system. Ukraine has such systems because somehow Ukrainian drones accurately hit oil refineries and the main missile and artillery directorate arsenals and airfields. Add the system. Add a self-made jet engine. We will get a cruise missile with a warhead of 450 kilograms plus a range of more than 500 kilometers. This is the distance to Moscow for you to get it, and no one will ever tell us. 
You can strike or you can't strike. This is a Ukrainian missile. We use it wherever we want. Katov said 